Hello friends, we've got another car repair video today for you. We've got the 2008 Mercury Mariner Hybrid. And there's an ongoing intermittent problem when the car first sets out in the morning. You'll try and accelerate and go down the road and you'll get no response from the accelerator pedal. It'll just die down to an idle and won't rev up. You put it in park, shut the car off and restart it, and then it's fine, usually for the rest of the day. So I went to the salvage yard and I picked up a replacement throttle pedal sensor. Now, I don't know if this is the issue or not, but it was cheap. It was like $15. A new one's about $55 online or at your local store, maybe $60. Um, let's see. And I decided I'm going to replace the throttle body and the pedal sensor and pedal assembly, which is all one piece here. There's three 8 millimeter bolts that hold it against the firewall and one wire clip that goes down through the top. And you've got to remove the wire clip before you take it out because you can't get to that top left-hand bolt without taking it out. Now this works pretty easy to change if you have a quarter inch drive, eight millimeter socket with about a five inch extension on it. And for some reason I can't find my quarter inch drive extension. So I've been using my quarter inch drive ratchet handle with a eight millimeter deep set socket just to break the bolts loose and then I put on my handle adapter which is about five and six inches long and screw it out just like that and it hasn't been a problem it seemed to work okay at the junkyard when I took it apart and that's how I'll show you how to do it here let's get this part changed shall we here's the throttle pedal if we look upwards there's the bottom left hand bolt and then up here on top the top right hand bolt is Let's see if we can see it here, right up behind there. And the top left hand bolt is right behind that wire block with the red tab on it. So we're going to need to raise that red tab up, the locking tab, and then depress the release button and pull the wire up off of the throttle sensor. There we go. It looks pretty simple. Three, three bolts and one wire connector. So I'm going to take a flat blade screwdriver. Go up in there and catch the edge of that connector lock and lift it up a little. And then I'm going to use it to depress the button on the side and lift up on the lock while I'm doing that. Sadly, I won't be able to film it because my hands will be busy. Here's the old one. You can see it's all dusty. That's the one we just took out. So we're getting ready to put the new one in. Again, you can see where the bolt holes are on it. Down low and then two on the top. They're not hard to get to, just takes a little bit of manipulating and reaching. And like I say, if you've got a long extension, it's going to be super easy. It took me less than five minutes to get this out with my nut driver and my short extension. So let's just give you a quick view up here of where it goes. And you can see the top two bolt holes there with the brass insert and the bottom bolt hole right there. And up above by the steering column, I've tucked the wire connector right there out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and set it in place. Put one bolt. I'll start with the lower left-hand bolt to hold it in place to line everything up. And then we'll do the top two bolts and reconnect it. And this project will be done. Pretty straightforward and simple. <laughs> 